Walking Dead accident halting production on the hit show. A stuntman severely injured after falling more than 20 feet onto the concrete below. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with the latest details. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Amy. The Walking Dead is a critically acclaimed horror television series, but it's what happened in real life on the set this week that would best be described as horrific. This morning, production on AMC's action-packed zombie-killing series The Walking Dead is temporarily shut down after a horrifying accident on its Georgia set. We had someone fall about 25 feet off of a balcony straight onto concrete. We need an ambulance ASAP. Stuntman John Burnecker falling more than two stories onto a concrete floor Wednesday. In this 911 call obtained by TMZ, an assistant director on set describes Burnecker as barely conscious. Do you know if he's bleeding from anywhere? Yes, it's coming out of his nose. Is he able to talk to anybody? No. The stuntman reportedly suffered a head injury so severe he had to be transported by helicopter to a level one trauma center in Atlanta. He later died in the hospital. This isn't the first time the show has had to shut down production due to an injury. In 2013, one walker ended up in the hospital after being run over by a truck. Burnecker is a veteran stuntman and fight choreographer who's worked on a number of projects, including The Hunger Games and Marvel's upcoming movie, Black Panther. His girlfriend posted on Facebook, John deserves to be seen by every neurosurgeon and doctor there is until one of them sees the life we all know he has in him and bring him back to us. This isn't fair. AMC is calling Burnecker's accident tragic. A spokesperson for SAG after released a statement saying they are investigating the incident. Just really devastating. It certainly is. All right, Lindsay, thanks so much.